Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering the hunter killer known as Wolf. He made his first appearance in Hunter Killer issue number zero that was released in November of 2004. There's very little concrete personal information that's known about this being, other than the fact that he's considered a mutate that's a part of the group called Ultra Sapiens, having long silver hair, silver eyes, and claws on his hands. Now, Wolf has moderate superhuman strength, speed, durability, and stamina, while possessing significant agility and senses, which makes him the perfect tracker. Also being somewhat feral and animalistic in demeanor while he's fighting, Wolf also has the unique trademark ability to create energy constructs in the form of blades that seem to come out from his forearms. These are extremely powerful and can cut through most enemies and materials. He can also become completely invisible, although this is not an instant process, taking several seconds to gradually take place. And to round out the abilities of this seemingly perfect assassin, he's obviously a master at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, Wolf has his origins in a secret branch of the government that supersedes all others, and somewhat functions as a failsafe, just in case the other branches go crazy. This super secret branch during the Cold War developed a program known as Project USA. The intention is that the members of this project would be the best of the best and could be used when millions of lives were at stake and for the most secret of secret operations. The US government created living superweapons that they called Ultra Sapiens. Wolf was a prominent member of this team, along with a young man named Ellis and a woman named Samantha. But to make no mistake, Wolf was considered their very best. But at some point or another, there was a revolt and many of the Ultra Sapiens went underground and escaped, hiding their abilities to blend in with normal people. Eventually, a few of them would go back to work for the government and track down their rogue counterparts, as well as dealing with other situations. But unfortunately for the Hunter Killers, Wolf did his own thing and he made it a point to track and harass them at all turns, consistently interfering with their missions and blocking them from taking out their targets. And despite being at odds with his former teammates, Ellis and Samantha, he's never used completely lethal force against either one of them, although he's had the opportunity. It seems as if his primary focus is to protect others of his kind and to promote the cause of the Ultra Sapien. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the Hunter Killer Wolf a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.